In a recent piece for the Harvard Crimson, which is a school newspaper but considers itself so much more, graduate student Daniel Hanrahan reproached himself for what is now a sinister crime. He discussed the attractiveness of the opposite sex. Hanrahan says he was out drinking during the orientation for his class last year when his fellow students raised the matter of which girls in their class were, quote, the hottest. With horror, Hanrahan says he failed to object to declare that calling women pretty is a form of, a form of objectification that could lead to assault. Instead, he says, and I'm quoting, I uncrossed my arms, and yes, I discussed which girls were hot. Apparently, Cambridge is no better than a Boko Haram camp. Kathy Rue, founding publisher of Catalina Magazine, she joins us tonight. Kathy, you are our Sherpa, you're our Tenzig Norgay, our spirit guide <laughs> into the brave new world of progressive America and the cultural revolution now taking place. Thanks. I didn't know, so thank you for that, I didn't know that it was, this was a crime now. Well, I mean, it's objectifying women, so that's always been a crime to objectify women, not seeing them as intelligent creatures, intelligent people that they are, but to see them at Harvard as just hot i mean that's not right that's well how about how about if a woman is intelligent not all people are intelligent by the way some are some aren't same right. with men right right um but is it okay to acknowledge that you find someone attractive or is that as mr hanrahan suggests a form of assault well, he felt, he felt that it was wrong because they had a group of guys sitting around and they weren't talking about how intelligent and wonderful these women are. They were talking about their physical attributes and that they were ranking them on a scale of 1 to 10 according to how hot they were. And he felt it was wrong. He felt that he was objectifying women. And he felt that he was creating and helping, helping a culture of rape, he said, on the, on the campus of Harvard. So, but um, were they? But they weren't raping people, were, were they? Weren't well, they just Harvard saying which girls they found attractive? Of, they have a high incidence of rape. They have a high incidence of objectifying women, and 30% of women graduate from Harvard saying that they're victims of sexual assault. Right, but so okay, it is a problem I mean, I, at Harvard. There is look, a I don't, I don't know where you got those stats, but I mean, in this specific case, these men weren't planning to go out and assault anybody, weren't they? Just saying, like, I find this girl attractive. Do you? Well, we don't, uh, we don't know what these assault, men did. Right? We, we don't know what they did, but we do know that men were behaving badly and are behaving badly at campuses around the country. And now we find out that at Harvard, these guys are speaking inappropriately about women. And that's that Saying is which ones they find attractive. So does this, is this a transferable crime? I mean, if, if a bunch of women are sitting around and they say, you know, I think that guy is kind of attractive, or I think he's hot, or whatever. The women are not, women the, ones they're, they're not the ones committing the rapes. So, so they're, women, allowed to, they're allowed to say that? Well, women aren't harming anyone. So sure, women, if women aren't harming anyone, that there is no problem that women do this. But if men are actually harming women, which we know they are, then yeah, that is a problem. So because some men, men is not a harm, problem. because ju I'm just trying to get the standards here, okay. as I always do when you come on, just trying to figure out the new rules. All right, sorry. America's, you know, very different from what it was last week. Um, so because some men harm women, no men are allowed to say they find any woman attractive, but because no women harm men, all women are allowed to say they find men attractive. Are the, is that the rule? It's very rare for men to be objectified and, and go through um, experiences like sexual assault. That's just a fact. But women am I right? Is that, that, is that, that the rule? Look, I'm just, look the, rest of us, the rest of us are looking, especially those of us over 40, looking on in horror. We see the country changing. We have no idea who changing makes for these the better. rules. It's changing Ma for maybe the better. so, but, but changing and changing is hard. And whoever makes these rules, like no one gets a heads up about what the new rules are. They just kind of appear and then you're held to account on the basis of those rules. So I'm just trying to get from you an accounting of what the rules are so I don't break them. Well, so, the, the, the rules are society is dictating the rules right now, not, not the law, but society is dictating the rules, and society is saying that men can't get away for, with this kind of human behavior who's anymore. society? It's that, I mean, I'm just, you know, but who's in charge? Is there like a basement room somewhere where a bunch of like people who are somehow in charge are women, writing these women rules? Are, women are women speaking are. up. There's a movement going on. We have the Me uh -huh. Too, hashtag Me Too movement that's going on. So women are speaking up, and we're holding men to a higher standard. We're letting them know that they can't get away with this anymore. You can't and that's get away. But I wonder, okay, with this behavior, I, look, by the with way, this just behavior. to be totally clear, as yep. always, I couldn't be more opposed to assaulting or hurting women. Right. I have, you know, four in my own house who I, I love more than anything. I know. So, of course. It's not you. But it's not I you. just want to, I wonder if you've thought this through. I mean, so if it's now a crime to think or say that a woman's attractive, 
Do you feel like maybe you or women in general might lose something in a society where men were too afraid to say they thought you were attractive? It's, it's, it's not right to objectify a woman. It's not right to see a woman only as a, a, an attractive a human being. There, okay, these guys what at Harvard partly, are not sitting what, around. What if you say, I respect you in many ways, but I also find you attractive? But Would that's that not be what this op-ed well? writer said. He said he felt wrong. He, felt, he wanted to speak up, and instead, he helped these guys treat these women no, like they didn't. were lesser. Like, let me just, ask you, let me, let let me just drop all the pretense and ask you a totally honest question, man to woman. What? You have a little bit of contempt for this guy, don't you? Here he is. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't assault anybody. He's filled with self-hatred because he said he thought a woman was attractive. You can't respect a man like that. I mean, let's be he honest. He didn't say you? that he found a woman attractive. He was sitting around drunk with a bunch of guys who we don't know what they did the next day, and they were saying that women were hot on a scale of 1 to 10. Ooh, so, women were I mean, hot. Whoa. All right. We don't know what they did. Yeah, call the police. Kathy, thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice race. Agree with me, or you'll be shamed. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice race.